Hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood accountant Eric speaking and we got a brand new Scoia Hill card just revealed on the Gwent Twitter page. The card is called Farseer. It reads, if any ally or unit in your hand or deck other than a Farseer is boosted during your turn, boost self by two at the end of your turn. So this has three important caveats. First, it only buffs once per turn. No matter how many buffs you got going, like imagine you have three dragoons on the board, it's only going to get buffed once. Two, it doesn't proc off other Farseers, but that doesn't matter. If one Farseer on your board is getting procced, then they're all getting procced because something got buffed that turn. Um, and third, it isn't wherever this card is. It doesn't have the Cthune text. So I imagine that if Farseer is in your deck, it is not getting buffed by two by you buffing something. Uh, which is important to note that if you're a mulligan deck, most of your buffing happens at the beginning of the round, not during the round. So Farseer doesn't make much sense in a mulligan deck due to that fact. I also see, don't see this card being played too much in a control scorch variant of Scoitel because you don't want to be scorching your own units so your own units can't get too big on the board. However, this unit wouldn't be bad in, let's say, a Stelga Storm type control or a um, Epidemic style control cards, which Scoitel can do quite nicely. This, yeah. But if you're doing hand buffing, this, this card is really designed around that, which is why it says in your hand as well. The closest comparison this card has to any other card would probably be Imper Brigade, because Imper Brigade almost does a similar thing. It goes up by two points if you play a spy. However, the Imper Brigade will proc off any spies on the board, while this card has to be on the board before you do any hand buffing to get those points. All things said, I think this card is very fair. It's not too easy to use. There are drawbacks. The Agile text is really nice. Uh, Scoia'tael needed more Agile units. One of the reasons why it didn't have so many Agile units is that Agility right now is really focused on cards that have lots of points on them uh, or can generate lots of points naturally. So your Spotters, your Vran Warriors, and your vanguards, all those kind of cards uh, are kind of like, they get big. And so you need to avoid Geralt Igni, and that's why they have agility. They can be placed on different rows. Farseer has that agility too, and I assume it has that has to do deal with the fact that it's going to be a big unit on the board. Uh, Scoitel doesn't have very many agile units because a lot of their units are control-based, like the archers, and the since the archers are not a lot of points, you don't need to play around Geralt Igni with them. And I, and I think that is a little interesting. Well, tell me what you think about this card in the comments. Until next time, until the next card's revealed, this has been Eric Stockhausen, your friendly neighborhood accountant.